Hey, songwriters, yeah! I'm excited because today I have a really special treat for you. My good friend Blake Schultz joined me in the studio yesterday and he showed me how to make this really cool muted distant piano sound. And so I said, Blake, can you please show the peeps how to make this awesome sound? And he said, yes. And this is cool because it's like producer stuff. We're learning how to shape the sound of our stock piano. So without further ado, let's dive in. Take it away, Blake. Hey guys, my name's Blake and I wanna show you today how to make a muted piano sound, uh, a reverbed out, muted, kind of intimate feeling uh, piano. So first we'll come over here to add a track. We'll pick software instrument, a MIDI instrument. So it first pulls up classical electric piano, but I wanna put it onto a normal sounding piano. So I'm gonna choose the Steinway Grand Piano right here. But before I do anything, here's what it sounds like. Um, but I'm gonna adjust a lot of the controls and EQ on it to make it sound um, the way I want it to. So first, you can click here on controls and you have all your smart controls right here. Uh, first, I'm gonna bump up the lows a little bit uh, pull down the highs a little bit. I'm gonna put my compression up to about there. Okay, okay. Um, delay just a little bit. Uh, where I really want to make a lot of uh, dramatic adjustment is on ambience and reverb. So I'm gonna boost this okay. reverb essentially almost all the way up um, in the ambience right there. That's bold, bro. And then I'm actually gonna come over here to our plugins and add in another so you can go down here and there's all different types of things, but I'm gonna select the reverb, platinum verb. Mm, then sweet. you can make adjustments here by yourself, but I'm gonna choose one that is a pre-made setting called church. And so that's how it sets it. All right, so I'm gonna pull up the keyboard so we can see what Blake is actually playing here. All right, take it away. Okay, so I wanna show you first, this is with the reverb added and the compression added. Sweet. So it sounds pretty nice and pretty big That's and it's cool. a great sound. Um, awesome. But for a more unique sound that you could use in certain situations for a real soft, a real intimate feel, I'm gonna do something kind of dramatic with the EQ here. So um, I clicked over away from the controls tab to the EQ tab, and I'm basically putting a low pass filter on this. It's called low pass filter because it's only letting the lows pass through. Nice. I'm EQing out all of these highs. And so as you can see, I pulled it down to about 500. Nice. Um, I'm also just gonna add that in to keep out some of the muddy noises on the bottom. So now let's see how this sounds. Nice. So that gives you a real nice uh, ambient, intimate, muted sound. I or you could use it up higher and have some more um, little melodic stuff going on. Cool. Well, thank you, Blake. Yeah. That is awesome. And hopefully got, you guys can take that, use it, mess around with it, and make some really cool piano sounds. Alright Blake. I just got nervous. Yeah.